What if I told you a common thread runs through neutron stars, woolly mammoths, and the glass of wine in your hands? I'm Sanjana Curtis, and I'm so excited today because this is episode one of Stardust, a series where you and I will do a deep dive into the elements of the periodic table, where they came from, astrophysically speaking, what is their role on Earth, in life, and what kind of science we can do with them. And that common thread between neutron stars and mammoths and your wine is the element strontium. Strontium is an element that most people probably do not think about very much. But if you have sensitive teeth, you might have strontium compounds in the toothpaste you use, so you might as well learn about it. With 38 protons in its atomic nucleus, strontium is a heavy element and it has been a part of a historic recent detection. In 2017, astronomers detected light from two neutron stars merging together. And in this light, they detected the signature of the element strontium. And that is how we know that neutron star mergers produce heavy elements. This has been a mystery since the 1950s. What does strontium have to do with mammoths? Now this comes down to mammoth tusks. Mammoth tusks grow in layers, similar to tree rings. There are strontium isotopes present in soil, and when mammoths would move around and eat, these isotopic ratios would become encoded in the layers of their tusks. So by looking at the strontium isotope ratios in the tusk of a woolly mammoth, you can tell which regions the mammoth lived in. A similar idea applies to wine, and so strontium isotope ratios can be used to authenticate whether a wine really comes from a certain region and prevent wine fraud. One of my friends joked that I'm about to create a new type of wine snob, uh, people who judge wine based on its isotopic composition. Let's not make that the takeaway from this video. What I really want you to remember is that we are connected in the most incredible ways that you can think of. And in this series, we're gonna touch on so many of them and I'm super excited. If you liked this video, you should know it has been made possible thanks to the National Science Foundation. I currently hold an NSF postdoc fellowship in astrophysics at UC Berkeley. 